supporter of the Wildcat Task Force <laughs> merger meeting. <laughs> Whoever we are, that's Whoever good. Whoever we are. <laughs> oh, God. That's good. No, you didn't here. tell me that. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I would have stayed home. Uh, okay. No, 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 no. No. All right. So. The draft minutes are going to review. Okay. Oh, right. oh, there we are. Ooh, okay. okay. Do we have um, <laughs> magic? Okay, so now we're gonna Do go back into your graph. It says I need access. It's okay, we're gonna fix it. Oh, okay. Right. You're fine. We just have to change the chair settings. So, uh, Kelly, you're from here. Oh, go back to those three dots, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then go to the share. And then hit share. Then oh, the school board set their little retreaty thing. Yeah. 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 And then down here into the restricted, you're going to change it to any little link. You got it. Right. And then if you refresh, it should work. I'm refreshing. Hmm. I'll do it again. Do you want to look on the computer? Would it be easier? Oh, wait a minute. There it is. Okay. Except it's so small, I can't see That's it. That's why I was wondering if on the computer. Aha. Yeah. Uh -huh. well, there I can make it. April. Oh my goodness, April. Yeah. April. <laughs> I mean, I think these That's all look true. fine. Okay. Those minutes were approved. Yeah, there's some that were approved. Yeah. So I changed it, I think. I mean, unless there's corrections or whatever, my recommendation is you do it just as one big. Yeah. For me. Yeah. The, the task force notes on survey results are not minutes. That's my personal notes. Okay. That's good. They're all there. Mm -hmm. You're welcome mm -hmm. to read them. They're probably not interesting. Hmm. We're always our own worst critics, you know? <laughs> well. These look good to me. Shared of an email. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. Oh, Nancy had some edits. Okay. Well, I don't understand that. Oh, that's nine five. Where'd that come from? Why did that pop? <coughs> Oh, that's old. Sorry. I was looking at the beginning of that thread. <laughs> awesome. Well, there are personal events students do use for personalized learning. Hmm? He said diverse pathways should include advanced students, but they have, they can do that. Yeah. Are you looking at the survey results? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. Okay. People's perception, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's true. Yeah. Of course. The, yeah. Because I've seen it. And I think it could be utilized more. But mm -hmm. don't tear apart. Are you guys looking at minutes? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm not worried. <laughs> um, I looked at all the minutes that are in there. I think we could approve them yeah. without any changes. Well, I Emily, you want to put it on the floor? Sure. I move to on approve. The table or whatever. I mean, I guess maybe we don't technically have the September ones or something. Is, do we want to wait and do them all at once? But I would. Wait? I would okay. do these four that are on the agenda. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Christy's keeping track of what is and is great. Uh, yeah, where is the agenda? Did we get the agenda? You sent us the agenda. Um, the September one is not in here. That's the actually they haven't transcribed it in this piece of paper yet. Okay. 
actually have the agenda. Did you send oh, out I'm the sorry. agenda? Chris, yeah. Chris made a I didn't get that. I, didn't get I don't think I get anything from Christy. No, I don't either. <laughs> I don't know why I have it, because I, I know right. since that you did, and I did this. So. I didn't get this. And, oh, okay. Um, I don't know. I, when she sends it, it's, I'm Where does Christy <laughs> send it? I mean. Like, how did I got the, it last time. I'm just oh. if I got it this time. I guess the August one's not in here, right? If we're trying to approve that one or the September one. In the in the Do we have folder. to pay attention to the ding? Oh wait, were you not here for one or something? Was that was that a thing? Yeah. But maybe none of us were. Did one get canceled? Or Yeah. The yeah, well, something got canceled like pretty pretty um shortly there. Short yeah. notice. Yeah. Yeah. The twenties. I had my oh, calendar, second. I could tell you. But August 8th. That's right. 20, August 22nd. That was did because not that's when I had vacation yeah. August 8th. But then that was, I forgot to tell everybody I was away because that's when we took Jacob to college right. and it was canceled anyway. Mm -hmm. The August 8th or August 22nd? The 22nd. 22nd. But that one's okay. not on here. <laughs> we get a vote? What do we got? Oh, yes. August 8th. I don't think you were there. I think that's the one I missed. I think it was yeah. just me and Nancy and Sandy, maybe. Oh, so the August Isn't 8th that? is on me, probably. So yeah. Maybe. I'll find it. Okay. <laughs> so what should we do? Make, we make the motion to... Yeah, Emily. ...approve July 11th, 25th, August 8th, and September 5th. <laughs> We don't have technically we only have two of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we would be But we could do the July ones. Okay. Well you could do the other three. You could do September fifth too. I'll just find August eighth. I we don't have we that one either. I'm actually yeah. Oh, oh, right. It's, okay. It's I'm, I'm happy to approve yeah. it as written. Yeah. yeah. It's just, <laughs> whatever it is. <laughs> I'm not concerned, but yeah. I can you can approve it so what are we approving here? <laughs> the Which July one? 11th and July 25th minutes, I think. May I have a motion from the floor to approve the minutes of July Sure, 11th? I so moved. And you want to sit down here? Hi. Hey, hey. I have your name tag thingy oh, somewhere if you thank want thank you. Oh, it's in that box. Oh, there. Oh, she's up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to switch seats? So Would it be easier for you favor? to be here? Is that no, I'm good. No, okay. Anonymous eye. Oh, oh, aye. 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 Do we have any, are Andrew or Nancy joining us via phone? No, they're no. at an SU oh, oh, right. or said that. Yeah. Deciding oh. how to go forward. I thought that was maybe next time and then he had soccer. soccer. Well, that was originally. Ah, That's it's changed. Right. Oh, the retreat okay. got changed. Ah. It was supposed to be yes. two today. weeks ago or. Oh. No, no, it was. Changed it to was today. To today from. Got yes. it. Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah, it was supposed That's why to he ignored me when I said, remember, we moved it to 6.30, I wanted yeah. to say, uh, because of you. A couple weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, all right. Okay. So, um, update on survey distributions. Family survey's out, and um, I don't know, we're down to, we've gotten about 90, is that where we are now, 97, something uh, like that? You were just there. Yes, I have. I was 90, just there, you're right. 95. Survey. 95. That's pretty good. Yeah. And um, I haven't gone through and figured how many from each, but um, I, we had said at the last hard. meeting that we wanted to redistribute the faculty and the, and the two um, faculty staff and the two student ones. So faculty and staff is out. Mm -hmm. Elementary went out. I saw Pierre send the middle school out. I don't know if I saw Jeff send his out. Okay. I saw an email that he sent it out to okay, faculty. Good. I okay. You did? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, faculty and staff is out. And there's another newsletter that goes out this Friday, and then 
So if you want me to keep on continuing to put out the, the parent one, I, can I would do it that. one more time. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I can do it via that, or I can do it via Blackboard. So whatever your Wait. preference is. That's kind of your call. I mean, how much have you guys Blackboard used Blackboard more, I mean, recently? Do you? Well, we use it like every day. Uh, Blackboard is more in your face, and I think in the newsletter is more embedded. Mm -hmm. Right. So mm -hmm. I like the. In you like the in your face? <laughs> when the last time I wrote second, what did I ask? Second request, second, yeah. third request. Yeah. Final call. Final call, yeah. Final, that's good. Final answer, final <laughs> And if you don't answer, you can't complain. Hmm. Well, I'll just if say, only. Your I know. <laughs> and then the, what happened with the student is that I made the adjustments on the, um, on the grade levels. Remember we talked about that, that hmm. they were... Uh, worded for I just finished as opposed to I just started. Mm -hmm. So I fixed those and then I contacted both Pierre and Jeff and I have not heard back from them. So I reached out Tuesday maybe. Huh. Thursday and Friday are kind of my work work days like I'm out and about. <laughs> so um, I checked one before I came in and I don't see anything. So I will um, check back with them. They were uh, very keen to help out the last time, so I think it's just gotten lost in, in the early start of the year. Mm -hmm. So I will recontact Pierre and Jeff around those. Um, so questions about that? Community, oh, community. Community is the, the um, card with a QR code is mm -hmm. at the printers. Oh. And so Kate was actually thinking, we thought it should be done by today or tomorrow, so mm -hmm. I'm figuring it'll go out first thing in, um, excuse me, first thing next week. She and I emailed back and forth briefly and decided together that rather than put it on Front Porch Forum, and, or, and Facebook before it, the um, cards were ready to mail was perhaps um, might be confusing to folks. Mm -hmm. So it'll all happen at the same time. So everything yeah. is on hold. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Suzette, do you want to change the title to the community survey to, uh, or remove draft? Oh, okay, so it doesn't show up there. In the folder, it, it, it's still, is titled draft, mm. but it's not on the actual survey, so I take that. Is back. it okay? Yeah. Okay. It's just just so we know in the file. Right. It still <laughs> says draft. I never put drafts. I Does, hate that word draft in the title because I always forget to take it out, and then I don't know what I'm looking at. And. <sighs> um, does the SU have a presence at the Forward Fest this Saturday? Or no? I, I, have, I wasn't contacted about yeah. it because I think Rebecca knew I had the oh, okay. accident. So yeah. um, Dana's going to set up a table for her own personal tie dyeing, but that's oh. the only thing I've seen. Okay. Oh, I guess the band, the yes. music's there. Yes, we've had a, yeah. I just wondered if that would be a place to just, if you haven't, if you could just put a little, like if people wanted to scan it right there and do it, that could be a good way to get some folks. Oh, that would, that's Forward, next Bethel's weekend. Forward Fest, it's, oh. it's Saturday. Well, oh, they should be done by then. Yeah. What about, uh, but just a way that you might have a captive audience. So. What about a laptop station or is on each end of the building for open house? No, oh, that's maybe. That's great. Yeah, we can do that. Or we can put up the, if there's a QR code oh, too, we, if people have their phones probably, that could be a way to do it too. Or even but, just extra postcards to grab. Yeah, yeah and do it and like hand, on a table or something. That's true. Either or I could or take or that on. I don't know when the high schools. The problem is trying to soon. do it, Chris. I think right there is it's longer than one anticipates. If it was oh, yeah. no, a I couple mean, of pages, but yeah, yeah. 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 but no, um, good, good thought, just though. get it started or get it, yeah, yeah. into their yeah. head with the QR QR code. Yeah, if they start then, they can finish it later. Right, they have it open on their phone or yeah. something. Yeah. yeah, is the high schools next week or the week after or something? It's I guess I probably have it on my calendar, but it's it's soon too. They're all within They're all like close. yeah. Is there somebody who can sort of take the lead on that? Because I get, because I'm not in the system. Uh, <laughs> I, I heard Rachel say she was on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah are you, no, you're here totally anyway? Are you? Is that yeah. you? Okay. 
Um, and so, you might even oh, touch yeah. base with Kate to find out how many she ordered because she might have been thinking more along the lines of just the mailing. Yeah. And I, oh, yeah, it won't, WRV. we could just do another it's run. It's in my so I don't know. That's fine. That's right. I don't That'd be great. Mind your fingers. Yes, please do. <laughs> There's some um, mm. cream cheese too for the pumpkin bread. Anybody <laughs> wants that? Right, let's do this. <laughs> 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 to ask a foolish question: Where are the surveys in the drive? Would you like so something? You have to go to your I, I already no. snagged something. Do you want anything, Mary? Um, I love the piece. I don't get a healthy yeah. snack. There. Yeah, they're coming from me here. I like that. These yeah. are delicious. I like the Thank you. I know they're. <laughs> Oh, here. Yeah, I went to shot. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Would you uh, like cream last time cheese? I made them and no, then I this ate great. brownies thank you. the whole next week. I, think. Oh, I had I had brownies for supper one night. It was just like, okay, <laughs> too, enough. Too we much. Cannot, we cannot have these in the house. <laughs> I looked at my husband, who of course is one of those people that can eat anything. I got one like And that. he's yeah. like yeah. this, right? Mm -hmm. His nickname and in college was Twiggy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, and all my sons are like that too. It's just, I don't understand. <laughs> anyway, so Mary, you've got that. Um, I have. I mean, can you take the lead on it? The open house tonight, pushing it. I mean, here. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. I just got back from the first branch, so I'm a little confused. Um, I'll be at the open house here, so I'll be promoting it here, and I'll also find out about Wildcat Night that Jeff is having. Okay. Promote it there, and I'll contact Kate about another run of the cards if we yeah. don't have it, or I can just copy it. There's yeah. that possibility too. If, the other thing is that you might just, um, Andrew, if this makes sense to you, to just have them at, you know, where people sign in, in the schools. Mm. Wow, mm -hmm. well, that's a good idea. The just yeah, there. Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, take advantage of the mm -hmm. card part. Okay. And Spalding Press, do you know if, if she sent it to Spalding Press? Yes. Okay. And they've moved recently, right? Yeah. I don't know where. I don't know either. <laughs> oh, is the whole operation? The whole yeah. operation moved. Is that up on the water? I colors. just went by it. No, I think it's at Didn't the I? original country day. Uh, country house. Yeah, yeah, hospital. hospital. Yeah. Yep. I thought they were in the Yeah. I don't know. Well, I went by it today. Is that in Bethel? Yeah. Oh, on the hill there. going up that oh, yeah, old right insurance. Right at the oh, right at the bottom of Christian Hill. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, good. All right. Bar. Close by. <laughs> Don't. We all know where we are, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. So, at the um, so I'm working on the report. Uh, I talked to Andrew about it. He's going to try to do some of the financial and um, uh, tax stuff which I just appealed to him because he brings so much information to the table that I can research and figure out, but it's like, no, <laughs> mm -hmm. don't need to, don't really want to. And he was fine with that because that's his comfort zone. And so he'll be working on that. I've finished the, and next time we meet, I'll bring it, but I finished the introduction and now I'm just working on some other sort of random pieces of it that um, I got the ADM from the last five years, which I just have the one copy um, I can shoot this around. We actually have fewer students than we did five years ago total, but there's 187, 93, 87, 97. You know that. But there's like um, 17 more at the high school. Mm -hmm. And that's where we would be, you know, in terms of the, um, the merger, that's yeah. where we, they were really trying to attract folks. That's funny. I feel like. We here are bigger than. You, I'll be happy to, been. to pass I'm just this, <laughs> this around. But um, maybe it's not this year. That's it's, yeah, this I year know. is the there. first yeah. one. It, yeah, I it's so built big. backwards the way I would build mm. it. <laughs> so go back in time. Check the years. <laughs> so it's school right year right twenty four. Keeping all That's the who right. left and why and last year this year data. This is year twenty five. Keep it. Okay. Keep that data going. So down. Yeah. So don't let me forget that it's there because I really want to address that in there and we could have a really good discussion here about it. So I'm going to leave that to you to say, Suzette. I think we're at like one fifty. Um. 
one fifty or something. Uh, I'm. It's you know dropout data and sting, things like that are still out there coming yeah. in, and I'll just deal with those. So, but at the very beginning of this process, the, the biggest challenge in the very beginning was that everybody was really, and this was awesome, that people were interested in, in uh, survey results and, and looking initially at all the different things that people could do to make things better. And I said, great idea, not now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but now we can do it. So um, I spoke to Andrew as, as the chair of this group, and um, he said, uh, you know, I said, it's really, we can, and I had spoken to Jamie as well, who was really interested in it, and I said, we are certainly um, in a position to begin to talk about either as an appendix or, um, or even as a section, uh, a final se uh, section of each of the pieces that we address in the report, but to include some suggestions on how people might, might how the board might move forward or the schools might move forward or how they might excuse me, use some of the, um, the data that's been collected. Uh, not so much the how to do it, but what, you know, give people sort of a, a sense of what's in that data and where if folks are considering what we might suggest that they consider and where they can find um, more information about it. So, and, and even within that, as a former superintendent, I'm always looking for, you know, where's the stuff that takes real organization and presentations and peeling back layers, and where's the low-hanging fruit? Mm -hmm. So, um, so t tonight, and we'll do this more than once, what I really wanted to do was to talk to you guys about what in, you know, as you peruse some of the data, what are some of the things that are beginning to, to stand out to you? Um, and then, you know, is, is there a suggestion that goes with it, or is it just something that you've noticed? Um, and where did you notice it? Because I think it's important that we be able to, um, you know, direct uh, folks to where that data is sitting. Um, the comments that people make are always quite telling. I think we always also have to be careful about, there's always outliers, you know, are they just the, the great, <laughs> I always say the crazy people at both ends. Um, and so we're not, you know, we're not going to, knee-jerk, have knee-jerk reactions, but there certainly are some patterns. And, um, and so that's what tonight's really about, is to just sort of share what maybe you have seen that you believe it would, it would behoove the, um, the district to begin to um, try to address. Anybody want to start? Hmm. Or I, I can start. I, <laughs> I think shared principles are hard on the principal and hard on wherever the principal isn't for that amount of time. Of course, you can voice your opinion or not, but that's, it, seems, it seems hard when I'm in the school you know, if you're not there and they need you. Is that what you saw in the data? Well, yeah. Uh, the teachers said sharing of administration and teachers, i.e. music or mm -hmm. specials. You know. Right. I did actually, um, just real quickly, drill down on, because when I had an interview, and I'll have more of that with, with Jamie, but one of the ones was to talk about the efficiencies, because it was certainly cropping up as a negative. And he said um, that, yes, I think that you're down to maybe one person he thought that was being shared was at this point. Two. But they had tried, they had. Across campus. I mean, just across campus or like between programs? It's yeah. Two different things. I think he's, I think I was suggesting cross campus. There's at least two plus you, Deaf right? Quail for the elementary. Oh, three. Me. But then we have the two and then music. Steve and two, right? All music, really. Yeah. So band and yes. chorus. Yeah. yeah. So I think what, what, well, what he was saying to me was that they had, they had learned that and that they were pairing back mm. on I that. It was how a, to do it better through scheduling. Okay. I don't yeah. think it's, um, I mean, you can't fill somebody's schedule, but that's the other thing. It's like you couldn't hire 
someone for each camp doesn't fill their schedule full time. Yeah. It's not, and you wouldn't get a quality, I don't, I don't think you'd get a quality candidate advertising for a point five position either, right? Right. Mm. Or, so, right. or you'd have to do band chorus, like, and do both when that, yeah. and that so timing wise is tricky. That, really so yeah. I, yeah. For elementary specifically, I can speak to that fact that, like, Den Quail is on this campus two days a week. Like, and then over there, three days a week. Like, she tries to be solid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, right, because there's other there's duties and other stuff that you know fill in stuff that there's they need to happen that are all the other behind the scene mechanisms to give like yeah. teachers prep time or you know whatever you you know whatever it is and lunches and recesses and well, I think that the that the thought behind trying to make the you know fill those out into full time positions to be able to attract more folks is, um, and I certainly did that um, when I was working, but some of it I think is, is it looks good on paper. Yeah. And when it's actually in place, it does not work as well as one would yeah. think it should. And so my sense from Jamie was that they were learning that lesson kind of the hard way. So we'll, we'll reflect that in the, in the report. Well, then they're but, out, and then you have to have a sub and try to tell the sub to go different places, or then you have, yeah, you're scrambling to cover two works. campuses, and it's... I mean, yeah. being in one per place all day... Which is what we do now. ...is well, not always the, the high better school. one. Huh? The middle school, high school share is not that way. They're back and forth no, in the no, same I mean, way. But that's, I mean, across campuses, shares are... You're right, the middle school, high school music is... Yeah, they're here in the morning, and they're there in the so afternoon. As far as... Yeah. So back okay. So back to the principal. So Sandy, you were saying that you were had noticed it in the teachers' survey that there were comments about that. Yeah, yeah. I was just trying to kind of find the like. Yeah. It's a, it's a lot like of data to look third, through. It's a lot. The third tab is like the best way to look at it. With the opinion. single question one. Yeah, and you pull down mm. the question, and then you can see all the graphs. Okay, oh, you have it set right now. The yeah. Pie charts. The pie charts. Is that all? Are you looking at all staff across? Do you want me to, would it be helpful to project or are you? Uh, faculty and staff survey, Google Sheets. No, the Google Sheets. And then you, yes, the human sheets. And then there's a, this, I think, results summary is what you want to click on. And then you can, Mm, I made a lie. Maybe questions. That's single so question. Why is it all the same? What do I have that you don't have? Oh, oh viewing sheets. Yeah. Single question is the one I was looking at, actually. Yeah. Oh, oh, question list? Maybe yeah. your tabs are dragged over or something. Are there other tabs there at the bottom that you can't tab. see? I have four form responses, all question filters, single question, and question list. You Same. would have that in the I faculty that as well. and the student one, not... Faculty and staff. Yeah. Just oh, read. Oh, you're in family. Okay, that's why. Go to faculty Ha uh ha. -huh. He was going to put the family. That was something that... Faculty. So then you can pull down sharing of staff between buildings works to improve opportunities for students. And then you can see it by elementary, middle, and high school separately. And you can also see by Beth Elementary separate from Royalton Elementary. And I feel like it's not landslidey, but it's definitely. No. It's definitely one that's like got mixed reviews, right? Yeah, it looks like the, if you lumped like the strongly agree and agree together and the disagree and strongly right. disagree, yeah. then you, yeah. that, that yeah. might be a good way to look at it. Yeah, I don't, I don't, the Is comments the are hard. Comments not. It doesn't, it doesn't I mean, there were comments um, specifically about sharing principal information and additional thoughts. And Was, so Is that under the form responses or something like that? Is that where the, like if the full? If we not have a principal at each elementary school, maybe we could have a principal and an assistant principal at each campus. I was like one of, I saw a few comments regarding it. I mean, obviously comments are one person, so I don't want to like overweigh the comments, but. Yeah. Um, I would say that that structure, while the word assistant principal isn't in place, those, those back of layers are in place. Is it partner that I'm looking at? I'm sorry. I can't. Partner? To get on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm way behind. I know. I'm What's the password? Wildcats with a capital W. Yeah. Emily might have an extra plug that might fit my computer. Yeah. I might. Mm, wait, what do you have? Jeez. HP. Yeah, that doesn't look the same as mine. Is that it? No. Um, it's for the one. Where are oh, they all? Well, I have this, which you can maybe plug into, but also the docking station, but I don't know. Oh, okay. Elementary schools in London would be better. Perfect. Yeah, thank you. Look right up. Okay. Staffing not on your own campus, as well as trying to share one administrator. And so I wonder if being all together on the campus would be more beneficial. But then there was. I like having separate elementary schools, but it does not work only having half a principal. We do not yeah. need to have staff meetings with two campuses okay. since we truly are two distinct schools. These are comments, obviously. Like the survey is a lot more people, and it's a, you know like you know like. But I do like to hear like yeah. it, like real in depth yeah. answers. Like mm -hmm. yeah. oh, are you doing single question or all questions? This is like you have to be in the form yeah, responses. I mean the, yeah, the responses yeah, I can't, to I can't. that. <laughs> Yeah, For no. some reason, I'm not finding them. Oh, no, oh okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the actual like sir responses. Yeah. Okay. I do think that is a really tricky idea that we're one school, yeah. <laughs> like, with two, with kind of four, two campuses and four schools within the one school. There's like a lot going on there. Yeah. yeah. That's torn. Well, and the other way to solve it though is a separate principal. Mm -hmm. Or, which we maybe out. an assistant that mm -hmm. um, somebody else with an administrative license, I guess. Yeah. Sort of like one principal yeah. and two assistants. Yeah, there, I mean, there's different ways. There's different ways to skin that cat, and that's yeah, that's an example of what I was saying when I was saying mm -hmm. not necessarily tell them how to fix it. We're yeah. just saying that that the data it's was showing that there is yeah. some dissatisfaction on the part of some staff and some family members around um, there being one principal for the two elementary school campuses. Is there, I mean, I personally have only really dug deep into the faculty one so far. Okay. I haven't looked at the family ones yet, so like, I, yet, like all the way through. So I do feel like in the faculty one, I've seen a good amount of like interest, in, uh, people concerned about the sharing of staff yep. and sharing of principal as part of that mm -hmm. um, in the elementary schools. I, I, and I, the, I mean, the other things that I really saw were world languages are lacking. Mm -hmm. That seemed like in the data to be like, yes, definitely everybody in this faculty is saying there's no problem. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, the music and performing arts are very well represented, like covered, like that was like a, like everybody seemed to be bit, like, it seemed to be like obvious that everybody said that was good. Like mm -hmm. music and performing arts, we're doing a good job of that. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe visual arts a little less so. Um, I feel like I saw a bunch of com uh, multiple kind of comments around the idea that we're doing a really good job um, addressing students who need extra help but not students who are high achieving. Like mm -hmm. I saw that in multiple kind of ways, people saying that. Are you looking at faculty? What are you looking at? Faculty only. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, like I've only really looked at the faculty data. So this is all like faculty stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. On the outside looking in, I some I I I was in the Title One kind of thing. So I was what? giving support. What's that. Title One? Um Reading intervention. Reading intervention, but not IEP. It's sort of the kids that you know at some point might be learning disabled, but you see something going on and they need a little support. Sometimes they just need a little kick and they're out. Mm -hmm. But um, it's federal money. Yeah, it's federal money that has rules around kids that yeah. that are struggling. And. Um, Mm -hmm. On the outside looking in, I think the middle, my personal opinion is the middle group of kids who need a, a little boot in the rear to, to excel 
but are doing their work and you know maybe they could achieve the next level up if somebody would give them the support mm -hmm. because I think the high achievers for the most part are high achieving on their own and and we do have a lot of AP courses that fill that I it's my personal view being in the school mm -hmm. and knowing that that you know we work really hard with the kids that need help so are you seeing that and I don't I'm not mean to take that away from what you're yeah. doing but in terms of the data are you seeing comments data. about about um, I've what seen, we would call tier one instruction that's just yeah, um, gobbledygook but <laughs> Just, you know, the instruction that is, is generally what the classroom teachers are putting. Yeah. It's definitely in the comments. Like, yeah. the, we strongly support struggling learners, but don't differentiate or offer all alternatives for advanced students. So. Yeah. I think, I think the pathways the could do, you know, push that yeah. a little further, you know, find, find something that even the high achievers want to do. Mm -hmm. It well, and pathways are supposed to be individualized, so yeah. that would be, you know, based on an individual's. Um, so the goal of these outlier things, like these things that are sticking out to us, is to potentially make a plan around or dig in further, right? Mm -hmm. To better understand the perspective. Yeah. Right? Yeah. There are definitely multiple comments about that, I agree. So that, that does seem like, even though there's not really a question, like data numbers, but even to have more than one comment, so just independently. Anecdotal. You, yeah, and the only question or, that I saw that was that sort of covered that is in the diverse pathways mm -hmm. area, and in the, the the few like the fa the family surveys I've kind of seen like there were comments in the diverse pathways area saying, why are there diverse pathways for why aren't there diverse pathways for kids who are higher achieving mm -hmm. like blah 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 you know and I was like yeah. oh yeah I guess. That so it well, is tricky. Yeah, I think I think a lot of that because that was another question that that I put to to Jamie because frankly I challenged him, um, and originally when the act what is it one sixty six forty six seventy six forty seventy six anyway no some number. 8,420 um, was about uh, diverse, there were multiple pathways to graduation. Access. That was originally what yeah. it was. Yeah. It was the, you know, the kids that were um, either not a good fit for um, stand and deliver and sit and get type of education, um, which is really disrespectful of me, but that was what it was boiled down to, was that there might be some other ways to, to challenge them and to challenge them through the things that they were passionate about. And um, when Jamie was at Central Vermont Supervisory Union with me, we had put that in place, and then we had capstone uh, projects that were at the elementary and the uh, junior, uh, middle school level, at whatever those top grades were, fifth and eighth, um, that were similar, and they were kind of practice. You know, it was find a passion, get a mentor in the community, do some some you know real deep digging on some things that you love and then put together some kind of a presentation and and deliver mm -hmm. so um but that's not what's happening here what's happening here is he's, he's just really looking for those flexible pathways to be available to all students at all levels and i said based on the um you know the the uh the data that i had been looking at was that there was a, a pretty people were pretty confused. Um, high school was pretty pretty straight. They kind of got it. And um, it looked, I think there was a st uh, one student comment that was, uh, that they had tried to do that and um, it hadn't worked for them or whatever. Um, that's, a, you know, with my educator hat on, I would say that those types of endeavors are really uh, uh, sadly connected to who's in charge. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, the data is about the highly qualified teacher, and, the, and in this case, the pathways coordinator. And I don't know who the pathways coordinator is. I'm just saying that, that, that it could be about that. Um, in middle school, it seemed to be less, uh, you know, some understanding of what it was, but not clear understanding about how it was going to unfold, and, um, and just a lot of 
yeah, I hear that word buzzing around at the mm -hmm. elementary school, but nothing's happening. And he was, you know, fully aware of that. And so I think any kinds of recommendations that we can make are going to be supportive of what he's trying to do. But if that is what you also were seeing in terms of flexible pathways, and that for me was faculty and family. Mm. That you saw, you saw some data in faculty and family around that. Yeah, that they're, you know, the, the younger the child, the less... Yeah understanding I didn't I, 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 I don't remember seeing anything that said what is that and let's not do it mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. you know that, so that their their understanding of it I think was was positive yeah. you know was something that they were interested and certainly it's it's for all kids um, and not the, the idea that it's only for kids who are struggling that's a misunderstanding misnomer right. miss something Something's mm -hmm. wrong. You know, something. Yeah, I saw it, right. it, flexible pathways were for the student that can't hold it together in the classroom because they like doing things. Mm -hmm. Being, being. It could be. And yeah, it could be. And it could be. Mm -hmm. And, and some of those kids are for, brilliant. But, mm -hmm. but <laughs> then I saw it being used with other students and thought that's a good idea. You you can be passionate about anything, but but always keep the prize and focus that mm -hmm. it's, you know, to become competent in your education, mm -hmm. whether you go this way or this way or this mm -hmm. way. But, mm -hmm. you know. One of my favorite examples was um, a student that is an avid hunter, has been an avid hunter all of his life, and we're having trouble in biology. Mm. Yeah. And a deer is a, is a mammal, and can he or she learn what she needs to learn in biology with that deer well, she, and then she ultimately you, uh, you know transfer you it back but are there you know the, so that's that's mm -hmm. like for kids where it's really not fitting but um, but this is a, it's an interesting group of kids through my 44 plus years in education this group coming up this generation and it's in it was even in the last one if it's not relevant they're not mm -hmm. buying it Mm -hmm. They're like, they oh. are not buying it. Yeah, you right. may, you know, chemistry, if you can't explain <laughs> to me why I need to sit in your chemistry class for 50 minutes a day for 187 days, how that's going to improve my life as an adult, I'm out of here. Yeah. yeah. And the old, because that's the way we've always done it, or that's what the college is won, or, you know, sometimes you can pull the college thing off for the kids that are college bound, but the... The rest of the population is just tell, how, you know, and it's not impossible to demonstrate relevance, but we've never, I think, as a community, as an educational community, been held to that level of, of um, I don't know, that that's the standard, is the standard is relevance. Yeah, I think. Through. Fractions, why do really I need hard. to know that? Oh, going to be a carpenter? Let's talk about fractions. Yeah, but that takes so much Sorry, I, I don't not I to right? distract, so but it takes so around. much oh, yeah. individualized Ooh. instruction that then you need so much more time to right. prep your lessons and be no, ready no. to meet no, no. every kid, which is, I assume, why Flexible Pathways too is harder to implement at the younger ages because they need someone fully with them most of the time yeah, versus like a high schooler. You can, in theory, assign something and, or, you know, like guide them and they go research. And right. Well, know. and I think that that's, that's where... The, the conversations at the building levels ought to be what makes the most sense for this group of kids mm -hmm. that's manageable for us to do We're, depend you know with their developmental needs um, in mind I mean if they're truly engaged they're a little they're easier to manage <laughs> mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean they can't get to the end of something and then woo and be somewhere else. So anyway, so flexible pathways. Yeah. Is it fair what I said? What did I say? I'm just going to put Well, it looks my... like, at least at the faculty thing, that faculty survey, that like about 80% agree that there are strong or very strong like yeah. personal learning opportunities in flexible pathways. That seems really good. Yeah. But the only concerns being the ones about that I saw right there is high achievers. And also, I haven't dug through the data, but it sounds like 
there's more at the high school level and less at the elementary level and middle school, somewhere in between. That sounds like what you said. Yeah. Right. Is I it, mean, go ahead. Is it fair to say, I guess this is maybe, I may be late to the party, but. No, no. I, I think it's, it's really probably fair to say as we look at, like, uh, on these single questions, right, I'm in the, the, the diverse and flexible pathways available to students, right, question is sort of relevant, but um, so we're, we can put agree and strongly agree and disagree and strongly disagree are basically the same as percentages, yeah. right, so it's just the I don't know or whatever that, you know, so you really, whatever percentage is greater, then we can, you know, you can evaluate that this single question widget is in my mind fantastic as a snapshot <laughs> to just see yeah what is i mean i think it's just as important and you guys have already done this to point out the things that are going well mm -hmm. the other one that that i thought people should be really proud of is how high it was rated by students that they had a significant yeah. adult yeah. that they could speak yeah. to in the building. And I think that's that across. was just like, yeah. okay, yeah. That, yeah. that that was across that's campus like campus. fireworks. Yeah. <laughs> and it's true for the teacher, fac the faculty one, yeah. and for, I don't know about family. I haven't looked at that one yet. Well, yeah, I, think it's, I think that's the, the point of like, layering these things. Some of these questions have layers, right? Yeah. Layer different yeah. surveys to like. Are what? I'm sorry. Layering the different surveys oh, yeah. and the different questions because yeah. they do go together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was kind of what we were after when we were building them. And there's a lot of them, but there were a lot of very specific things in the article. So I'm not, I'm not opposed to sort of addressing those. Um, well, I guess, how do we... Do we... If the if the question is is a positive, right? It is you know what I mean. Like there's a tense to each question, right? Of right. Which way it seems. So if the responses are positive, then we could say we're going in the right direction with that. But yes. If it's in the negative. That is something we could work on, or you know, how, right. how do we, you know? And there might be there might be you know some things in the survey that would guide us in terms of saying what they might want to investigate doing about mm -hmm. it. There might be some ideas. We're not in a position to say you need to do this. But I think even with the positive stuff, part of the recommendation I would recommend to you to say, you know, do some pretty heavy duty reflecting about why this is going so well, what is in place, so that gets protected. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the mm -hmm. whole business of having um, a or significant not, adult. Not, oh, how how okay. did that happen? So we'll rob Peter, we'll rob that, Peter to pay Paul. We can pull the rug over this way a little further. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah or, that's, or, or they're doing fine now. We can yeah. stop that support. Yeah. I can't yeah. tell you how many times right. schools do that, right. trying to save money, and then that whole thing falls apart. If we can look it, at this in a way to avoid pitfalls. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Um, Looking just looking at the survey results, like the the ones actually in the whatever it is Google survey, whatever uh, the ones that are really colorful seem like they stand out to me too. Like this one is this is the sharing staff one, so that seems like there's a lot people are like all over the place, all basically. over the place. Yeah, yeah. it's really interesting. Whereas the other ones tend to be like overwhelmingly right. one way or the other. Yeah. Or this is all like this is all agree. So that's like which is wild what to me, that but. Say? I'm encouraged to use my strengths in creative ways to enhance my instruction. Or this one actually really blew my it? mind. Positive. And this, I'm excited and engaged in my role at school. That is overwhelmingly. Yes. But that actually, yeah. yeah. I don't even know if I believe that, but that's okay. <laughs> no, it is good. It is good. That's what you want. It's like a Well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it is what you want. I just. Well, and I think, um, oh, there's another little piece of data. <laughs> You'll love me. One that I found interesting um, is attendance was, data. Oh, oh yeah. God. Yeah. Was it, I feel like I'm part of a single pre-K-12 cohesive mm. system with common goals in the faculty and staff survey. And you look at that one, and it's, um, gosh, I don't know. Strongly disagree, and 
disagree make up you know a pretty significant amount of that pie chart. Hmm. So I think for for teachers or faculty and staff to understand oh, what yeah. the cohesive system is pre K twelve and the common goals, I think would be low hanging fruit. Right? Yep. Yeah. And that cohesive mm -hmm. part is, mm -hmm. I mean, that gets to the whole what Andrew was talking, like the one school versus, you know, two, yeah. That's kind of what's, it doesn't feel super cohesive. Mm -hmm. From like that, from my perspective, kind of coming, you know, working mm -hmm. within the context of the community, outreach and communications plan and the strategic plan, like there's so many systems in place at the SU level that I haven't seen before in other SUs or been aware of anyway, that it's really exciting to me to feel like there's this one SU-wide system, but that's SU-wide. Maybe it's different if you're just sitting in red, but mm. it should, I, I'm assuming it would apply. Well, But that's information I have that maybe other people aren't interacting with no, I feel in that from, previous, from working under previous superintendents. I absolutely feel that. Well, I, I think even speaking from my role, like we're doing SU custodian, SU food service. Mm -hmm. Like we're trying to gather everybody under umbrellas, not just for, but for, for purchasing, for it's, uh, it's some things are, are a work in progress, you know, but for supervision, for, um, materials you know like sharing of desks or you know whatever mm -hmm. like we're su custodian emailing you know like i have this or you know does anybody have this or you know like does anybody want this and and food service is the same way you know like we're trying to get so we they're focusing a lot on other areas but we're we're making inroads on some mm -hmm. of these things in, in a lot of areas and maybe it's about being transparent, right? Because yeah, you oh, hold absolutely. that information in your position, but yeah. are, is it being translated to faculty and staff to know where it's coming from or how it's connected into some of the bigger systems? Well, yeah, no, there's sort of. I mean, some know, but it's not, it's not to totally relevant for me to share yeah. that, you know, like it's... But do you think that question would look different if people knew that? Oh, maybe, yeah. Yeah. Which pick, which one? The I feel like I'm part of a single <clears throat> system with common goals. But that's more like isn't that pre K twelve? Like that's district. That's not yeah. SU. Yeah. Right? Well, that's that's the other thing. Is I don't think it's ever going to feel like necessarily single system. <laughs> Well, and now that I, now that we talk about that, that that's not a great question. <laughs> yeah, right. Because what right. are we which, talking about? Which system are you yeah. talking well, about? Are you talking about well, the SU right. system? I or are you talking the about the K twelve? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, red yeah. system. I, I think did not. We were talking about super, red, but yeah, right. We're only talking about red. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. but yeah. Um, I think that the I'm just looking at the faculty. I haven't looked at the other ones, but the whole separate elementary campuses versus one campus. That's kind of an interest. I, I feel like that's worth summarizing or it's also not, it's more colorful than yeah. um, some of the other ones. It seems like they think the separate campuses, faculty, I don't, I'm not looking at families, but it seems like about half agree. Like, Is it a swap? If you look at both, like families don't want it and some faculty do want it. Like a wash or like, because it seems like the faculty or about half of them think it's better to keep um, keep two separate, uh, a quarter think better to have them combined, and a quarter don't know. Yeah. I, just, well, I, wanna, I don't want the middle school with the high school, period. I saw that. Yeah. That does seem like the middle school, the combining Bethel and Royalton clearly is so well, is received. well received. Same with the high there school. There's a nasty few comments, but sure. I, I think you can consider that some talents are outliers. Yeah. But that seems like that's a win. Like that's worth celebrating because that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah. That's been a good the decision. School, putting middle school kids together was a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. In high school too. Yeah. 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 School too. And I wish, elementary. I sort of wish we had asked before the merger because that felt kind of forced. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like you will do this, and if you don't, the whole place is going to. But like I, just, I feel like I wish we had asked. Like, do, do you think was your perspective that mm -hmm. you know five years ago hindsight? Yeah. Or I wish we. Yeah. That's interesting. But well, it's also is interesting. I guess the vote tells you, yeah. right? Because yeah. that was passed. <laughs> I still think we almost got more people participating in the 
being in this thing oh, as well. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 It was interesting to talk to um, Jamie about the, you know, one elementary school um, and just based on trying to figure out where people were, that's when I really want to, you know, dig a little deeper, look at, in the faculty, look and see what grade levels are talking about. You know, oh, yeah. is there a, a, a group of grades that think one way? For example, mm -hmm. the, the elementary teachers, and this is just about putting the elementary schools together, do the elementary teachers feel the same way as, as the middle school teachers do about that as do the high school? Mm -hmm. Because putting them together, there's that, but if you, one did that, my assumption is, is that that would have an impact on the middle school as well. So, you know, are the, what, what's left to the board if they were gonna try to do this? would be that you gotta look at both. This is not, this, yeah. the, the question is not just, and I know they already know this, but it's not just, um, do we put the elementary schools together? It's do we, do we do that at the, you know, if people think it's a negative thing to put the, the middle school in the same building as the high school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, even from a, you know, buildings point of view, you would have a, maybe a younger end and an older end, you know, like, all the elementary schools have class, uh, have sinks, you know, like, do, would we have to put sinks in, you know, like, they're, Oh, it's all need, those. You need more bathrooms. Absolutely. You know, <laughs> For sure. Bathrooms, and bathrooms. You know, yeah. like, you no, know, no. That, that's all the things, like, from just my wheelhouse, you know, yours would be yours, yours, you know, like, Yeah, no, 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 it's would, never, we it's would all not, see, but I mean, you know, not it would, simple. It would, wouldn't be simple, you know. Huh. Have to change all the lockers. Oh, well. Fewer yeah. lockers. Oh, yeah. We need those gone anyway. Just yeah, those, but those it's just, all. yeah. Garbage. Oh, yeah. Looking at this, um, I'm sorry, looking at this um, this page that you showed me, yeah. I haven't seen this before, but the um, talking about the serving um, students from Bethel and Royalton at the separate elementaries, it's interesting to see that um, there's. Oh, the, the view between Bethel campus and Royalton campus staff on it's that different. question seems very different. Yeah. The numbers are also very different of people who've replied. People who've replied. So well, 41 was, at Bethel, yeah, we 17 at, yeah, we were, at we Royalton. Were talking, I forget what, what we were just what, talking what about. Which question are you on? Um, uh, yeah. Serving students from both Bethel and Royalton at separate elementary. There's 23 Bethel elementary and 11 Royalton. Which doesn't make okay. sense to me. There's way more. I know. Although what I'm, mm -hmm. I guess yeah. that includes the, yeah. I don't know how we have 23 in the elementary, honestly. Unless <laughs> all the specials went to the Bethel pod or whatever. Unless, yeah. Well, unless it's mixed. Paris. Yeah, that's possible. Because pairs are in there too. Awesome. Yeah. But it's a little hard to parse out, yeah. Hmm. Okay. I guess the pie graphs there are kind of. Well, there were also differences too in the in the in the family surveys and okay. how they. Mm they saw the two campuses, yeah, yeah. South Royalton and, and Bethel. Yeah. And how they saw the two campuses. Mm -hmm. And then even the two, the two faculties, now I can't remember off the top of my head, but when you went to what their, their most um, top priorities were or whatever, I, was, I don't mm. think that's the word we use. Mm -hmm. But anyway, they were different. Um, that makes sense. So that was, I thought, just um, warranted a closer look. Oh, when I change this, does it change it for everybody? Yeah, I think, so. well, I don't know, because I, you and I changed it to the same thing, I think, or, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it does. It's very user-friendly once you get going. What about Start um, clicking around? Have people had a chance to look much at the family survey? No. I had. Should we look at it? I couldn't find it. Now I found it. Well, now that so. I can see how the other survey is set up, I want it to look like that because I like the pie charts. I like the. I like yeah. That's structure. Yeah. Break it out. This one is like it's just harder to yes. like get up. My eyes yeah. I mean that yeah. one you can. Is it that one that you can? I guess what I did is I went down the positive and negative column, and then I was like, ooh, which one looked like which which one are the really big negatives? 
And then it's like, okay, tracking back to... Down at the bottom, is there the thing that, that um, Andrew put in that you can really oh. sort of dig down? Mm -hmm. Let's see that. Let's say the... I think results summary is what you're looking at. I guess you could filter the top, but just it's not as clean. Not as clean and clear. I actually think the pie graphs and whatnot are pretty handy too. Yeah. Yeah, I like that kind of up level this place. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, it's not the family. This is not the family. <laughs> He hasn't put it in the oh. So I'm talking to myself now. Right. No, the thing, well, the reason why I asked that was that Andrew had said that in his looking, he was really interested in the family survey, so he had spent probably more time mm. there than anything else. I have not. But he felt that there was a, a real theme of um, folks wanting to be more connected. He said it was a po you know it was a positive thing. It wasn't a people complaining about being not connected, but that folks were looking for better connection. And then he took it the next step and said, you know, might that be? And that would be for us to think about whether we wanted to recommend that. But so between now and the next meeting, take a look at the family survey. Um, be the councils, you know that that the Articles of Agreement talked about in the very beginning that just kind of mm -hmm. never went anywhere. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah, what they're called. Like it was, uh, they, yeah, let's do that. But, you know, would that be a good place now as sort of a, a phase two of this group mm -hmm. um, to put them in place? I do also still think, though, clicking the yes, that's a good idea, it's still easier to find humans to do it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, no, no. But let's try. <laughs> but... Yeah, I mean, it, it, what's interesting is is that you know we might get a little bit of a bump just out of of um, the fact that we're trying really hard to get this information from people. Was it spelled out what those councils would do exactly? Because I, I would just worry a little. Like it, things, some things have been so contentious. Yeah, there was something just... I heard is that they 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 were they were proposed and there was a reason why they didn't happen. Yeah. Well, you know, and I get it. I you know it doesn't. I don't. I'm not throwing stones. At, uh, it makes no difference to me really. But I mean, yeah, yeah. Let me find it. Um, Yeah, I, re I mean, they, it did say some was, you know, sort of to be guided, that, but it, ugh, the way it was worded um, <laughs> was scary to me. Yeah, like, how is that, so a scary how is that piece different than a school board? Like, isn't that kind of what a school, school board council. does? Here it is. Or a PTO, kind of a... Yeah, uh, like, I don't know, I just... Don't actually know the difference, really. Okay, the new Unified District Board of School Directors shall create school councils to promote strong connections between communities and individual school buildings. The Unified District Board of School Directors shall consider the creation of an advisory structure to assure a strong relationship with other districts who tuition students to the schools of the Unified District. Okay, that's not what we need. So it's just create school councils to promote strong connections between communities and individual school buildings. So it's just a group of parents and and staff that are that that's their focus. Is and it a PTO? So it, how's it? And the PTO so might be that. We tried to do it before board meetings. It was hard to get people. It's now we have so many other layers. Um, I do think that we need to engage parents, but we do have PTOs back up and running. Yeah. Well, I think you could even use this this task force as a, a litmus test. I mean, yeah, what what did we start with, and what are we? You know, like people are mm -hmm. come or go, or engaged or not engaged, or you know, for all the things. And yeah, I mean, it might just be an, an additional, you know, focus. Like when a student council takes on real leadership and not just planning the prom. Mm -hmm. So if you're, <laughs> yeah. if you're on the PTO and and generally the PTO has been about just fundraisers to give classroom teachers you know 
extra money for their classes or field trips or something like that, in the, in the then days, they, would it take they, they uh, built playgrounds? You know, they raised enough for yeah. playgrounds right. and stuff. So, so I, mean, I mean, what would you know? How might that? I wonder what it would sound like if Jamie, you know, went went to the PTOs and said, hmm. "We're you know, we're looking we, at we'd like we're looking put, at this yeah, data and we've this got be communities." Under your umbrella a little bit. Yeah, yeah, could yeah, could you yeah, add this to event or what yeah. you're thinking yeah. about? Yeah. When we mm -hmm. restarted, because it started certainly. the PTO with my first grader, who's now 47. Um, <laughs> basically, we we were a group of parents, and we thought we want to raise money or do things that we could afford to send our kids to, or go on trips right. and go to Williamsburg and do this or do that. That we wanted to give the kids who are in our population exposure to extra <coughs> puppeteering or play or a concert <coughs> or that kind of thing. And that's what a PTA, PTA, PTO oh, should whatever. be, yeah, should be doing is looking at the whole population and not just let's do this mm -hmm. for, you know, raise money and then shove it here or whatever. But look at the whole population <coughs> and give them experiences that they wouldn't have. Because that's what they are doing. Yeah, if yeah. they're, well, if they're yeah, going not, to they're that. Well, yeah, they're not trying to, they are including, like, the middle school. I think they're trying to, trying to have it be, like, a campus wide, you know, like. I think that's still in its infancy. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully we'll get there. Building, yeah. That parents won't yeah. take them to Northern not State the or to Dartmouth. Just to a, actually, there was an email athletic. inviting yeah. us, but yeah, it was last minute. Out. But yeah, like, yeah. yeah. It was good. Yeah. 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 It was, it was what you no know. parents. Than ever. It was a better late than never email. But. <laughs> I, I think it's teachers. Oh, really? I don't know. I mean, that's PTO? what the PTO was when I was on it, too. It was all teachers, basically. Yeah. Oh, really? Well, yeah. I, mean, I just, yeah. Oh, my gosh. So who happened to also be parents. They yeah, were, we were yeah, like teas that were peas. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm just thinking that that might be a reasonable, you know, thing to approach a PTO oh, yeah. or PTA with. Um, it's their community. And, um, and certainly, and this is a rough one, but my experience was with Orange and Washington that when they combined their PTOs and their PTAs and really worked together to benefit both schools. Are yours separate mm -hmm. or are they together they're or are they working? Right now. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, no, no. It, it takes time. They're dating. No, no, I they're get it. It takes they're time, but that there's a lot of power. I mean, like, at this time I've been here, Bethel had a really solid one and then it fizzled, and then Royalton's was really fizzly, and um, now it's like amazing. Good. Oh, good. And, um, Strong, but so it's it's, it's no different just, than like coaches, you know, like the like the, the coach cycle when your kid moves yeah. out of elementary, exactly. you stop coaching the little kids or whatever. You know, you got to like build the that's, system that's, that's just how pipeline, the, the PTO right? Works, you know? <laughs> yeah. Pipeline of parent help. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're the yeah. you're the parent. You have to bring <laughs> okay. your kindergarten parent with you. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to the meeting. Well, now we have um, kids. But, so love to know you know, for that. Oh, yeah. Alyssa Castellini. Really? Uh, yeah. And to invite middle school. Yeah. yeah. I talked to her about okay. it, and then she. Yeah. I don't. I think she sent it to the whole faculty. Yeah, she did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Staff. Yeah. I don't and know. I will say that Bethel does theirs online, so it's really accessible. Like, oh, you don't have to trundle down. You don't have to go anywhere. And, but on the flip side, I think Rosen is a library, and I think that's kind of lovely, too. I think they've also well, done it crossroads. <laughs> it would be exciting if we got... I think about the community conversations, and it would be great if that wasn't yeah. the principal's responsibility to come up with the community conversations, mm -hmm. but if that could come from the... PTO or the community mm -hmm. people that really have an investment that they want to have a conversation that's what they about. Want to have a conversation. Flexible pathways or whatever, yeah. you know? Well, I'm thinking, think, too, no, that we might get some information from the community survey that might give mm. us some direct information yeah. on how to connect a PTO slash school council um, with the community at large. Mm -hmm. I'm, assu I'm assuming all these surveys and the data from them is, is available to anybody who wants to see them. You know, could that be a community survey? Like, hey, we're going to break down and show you the data we you got from the faculty and staff or the data we got from, um, you know, could that be three separate nights to say, like, we're going to do a deep data dive and, and maybe set it up, though, with, you know, a real um, 
like we're gonna have a procedure for looking at the data. Oh yeah. Just, hey, let's love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're gonna break into groups. Uh, we're gonna highlight the top three. You know, like, what I hope well, to do yeah. with this. Group well, in the report, gonna, really, I mean, that'll be similar, right? Yeah. Like, but you're saying but different, like, it, like really dig in. Transparency and that we yeah. encourage you, and we, we didn't just go the survey for no reason. And mm. yeah. Would that be yeah. a decision on behalf of the school board after we do the report? Because there are data pieces in here, like I keep thinking, oh my gosh, this would be so great to share this, or so great to share that, but then it's like, wait, we can't just yet share it, and we have to have directive, I think, before we can mm. share it as to how we share it, or who gets to share it. Hmm. Well, and I, I don't know, yeah. that, was, that was your suggestion. Right, and it's who, and I, I, you like, know, oh, I think the board decides this? that ultimately, but, and Jamie. Mm -hmm. But I think the other thing is, is in sharing the data that what of it are we going to share? I would be hesitant to share the comments. Yeah. Because yes. what would happen is yeah. fuel. Who said that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah. bet Joe from down the road said yeah. that sounds just yeah. like yeah. it. And that you you'd be yeah, down that rabbit hole and you never get back out. The numbers you could do without the comment, <laughs> I think. I think yeah. Comments. yeah. Yeah. I mean, really. Yeah, there are some comments that definitely, you, if you know, I don't know anybody, right. but you can know. You would, yeah. Know. Or yeah. target yeah. a teacher or yeah. two. Yeah. I definitely yeah. saw that. Yeah. Or a principal. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's like you see that. You you definitely are getting closer to the middle. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I think there's some really. I mean, I think too that if. If I mean that might be a suggestion that we do something like that, pair the, pair the data down, you know, so that it's manageable. I mean that's part of it is it's just well, so much. Well, I guess much. that's that's and where then, I'm going with this is do we like rate each question? You know, if it seems positive and the data went positive, we just call put that in the win column. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And then mm -hmm. ones that need we need to work on, do we put that in the the not as good or mm -hmm. negative, you know, we you just, them, like, just rate, just rate each one. Yeah, yeah just, just go down each question and rate them. And so then we know what we're dealing with. Because mm -hmm. even look at what we did what today. We're just them. talking a bunch, but we're not really, we need to go question by question or have, you know, <gasps> not as a, I mean, we can do yeah, this Yeah, each as of us need to go question by question. Yeah. That's, it's, yeah. yeah. You know, because I think part of what, what I was working on for tonight was, you know, when you go through this stuff, if you're not taking notes, you do come away with an impression. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think that those impressions are important. Mm -hmm. And then you take those impressions and you dig. So I took some notes, and I'll dig a little deeper um, on those. But, you know, what, what's the general sense? I mean, the general sense to me of the whole thing is that it was a success. Mm -hmm. I agree. You know? Yeah. And there's some real things to celebrate. And then there are things that, um, I don't think there's anything that's horribly negative. I mean, I, I wouldn't call any of it negative. I would call, if I had to put it on a rubric, it would be developing. Yeah. <laughs> My needs favorite work. word. Oh, working developing. On, yeah, working on but, needs work. Yeah. <laughs> that's the direction, though, instead of just like guessing where the direction right, is. Right, right, right. And it helps us. You know, there's just there are a couple of things needle that isn't I think. Just spinning around randomly, it's, mm -hmm. it's it's getting directional. You know, it's definitely yeah. And not to keep coming back, because Andrew, I know that this is personal to you, because it's at the top of your, because they're your schools, but the but the difference in people's response to the school and the way you know is that's that's not a negative. That's just you know that's worth looking at. That's just like. Why is that? Mm -hmm. And you know, it could come. It could be as something as simple as you have a younger, more progressive staff in one than you do in the other, and it makes all the difference in the world in the culture in the building. And so, your challenge as a leader is it's like having um, you know two sections of Algebra One, and but you can't use the same lesson plan for both of them because they're coming in with different stuff. And they got, they just got, they're just, they're, it, the whole class is a different personality. So it's the same content you're after, but you're going to have to present it differently because they're different. So it's, but you know, that part to me, I don't want to make a big deal about that in the report because I don't want a big, we have to think about that. I, we don't need a big magnifying glass over no. there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think for me, crossing that with the positive and I like working here question, like, you know, it's like, I, yeah. I can be like, you know what? Not everything's ever perfect, but they still seem to like to come to work here. So <laughs> well, no, but that's but that's like I say, yeah. it's it's yeah. that your I'm sure your staff as as a group has a different personality from one to the other. 
They're not there. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, and yeah. I don't know about. I don't know any of them. <laughs> yeah, that's just uh, the way it is. I keep looking at this question, and Which I just one? figured I'd mention it. That it definitely seems like families want an outdoor experiential learning. Program oh my in the God, high was that, that clear. very clear? Holy smokes! So that's a, and that was a big thing in the merger because Rochester was going to bring in the outdoor yeah. education well, thing. Jeff has done such a good job with his. Um, the yeah, what do they call them? That yeah. He's done. Uh, I feel it's like different. It's, it's so different. It's not the same. Right. But if it would be, I feel like that's a teaser for some of the families that are like, wait, mm -hmm. are kids, the kids love that. Although, they like, that's great. not the same. You it's can't not. just, like, go have yeah, fun outside all the time. <laughs> like, I mean, maybe you can, it's but, like, it's always right, it's like, let's right. go ride bikes, let's go fly fishing, let's go rock yeah. climbing. You gotta, like, maybe build some <laughs> skills on those things in high school. High school. Jeff is in the high school. Yeah, he's the principal. high school principal. And I can't remember what he calls them. Outdoor adventure. Outdoor adventure. Yeah. Three times a year? Three times a year, usually. Yeah. The first one is just, like, a... Hi. Get to know you think, skiing, so, fishing, yeah. hiking, or skiing, like skiing, uh, hiking, semester. hiking, fishing, or there's a bunch because they, yeah. yeah, well, yeah, yeah. the teachers. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I was there the first year, it was very funny. Put it in first time, and you know, there were a bunch of people that really didn't want to do it, and so they stayed back. And I said, let it happen, it mm -hmm. will fix itself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well. When everybody's out either biking or, you know, doing stuff off campus and you're back on campus with kids on campus, it doesn't right. take long to realize that mm -hmm. you would much rather be off campus, mm -hmm. <laughs> much rather be off campus. Mm -hmm. So the second time, because it was supposed to be built around te not just kid interests, but also teacher mm -hmm. passion. Yeah. You know, what would you like to share that you're good mm -hmm. at that you like to do with a group of students? And I think that the, the just even the... I, I look at that and wonder if that, now that you say that, if that's not a piece of the, how those connections at the high school between students and, and teachers have been formed. Yeah, sure, mm -hmm. I think it's Or a part on of those it. days. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, and I, I agree that was one of my takeaways from the family survey. I've only gone through it and haven't mm -hmm. like really looked with a microscope yet, but like, People love eco, and they want more stuff like that, where it doesn't yep. exist. And like, you know, the lists of like, what classes should we have? Or like, what other activities? It's all like these sort of like, That's what they not, want. not all, but there's so much like sort of like non-traditional sport kind of outdoor -y. Can we do more activities that are like, where there's like free or cheap equipment so we can go cross-country skiing or skating mm -hmm. or this or that or that? Or so that, yeah. was, that was sort of a surprise to me. I it probably shouldn't have been, hmm. but I think that's why that was a take. Well, like, wow, this is overwhelmingly for everybody. We still do. They're just here now, I think. Oh, <laughs> or maybe they're over there. I don't know. Do well, lifelong sports, that's how I yeah. look at it. I see them, but it's like people really value them and they want more. Yes. So yeah, that's great. they don't always line up with standards. It's like it's yeah. tricky when you're also trying to do those it's things. So, but yeah, but they need standards too. I can, I can <laughs> throw my bailiwick in the in the mix of that. Then we don't have storage. We don't have right. you know like yeah. are we working towards? You've wrestled it? Yes, those skis. But, <laughs> yeah. You know, like everybody. You know, we're we're. Uh, I yeah. do think there's room for high school though. I think that yes. there's some years that kids have lighter schedules that they can. Yeah. Go that, through flexible pathways yes. and add more of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So using this as an example, I'm curious if we had a lens of the budget that's probably going to be kind of put together in the next couple months. Starts in October. We're it's already, so, it's already so so being what, built. That's what, the what's the information that's in the survey mm -hmm. that would speak to mm -hmm. the budget, that's like a, a position in outdoor education or half half time outdoor ed person or foreign language. Does it yeah, have extra enough. weight because of the survey results? That's and is an, that something? This is an interesting time to build a budget with those things. Yeah. It would be hard, right? Like, especially when we get the family survey or the community surveys back to. Right, they might to, be very different. Yeah. yeah. They also <laughs> might just need to yeah. be like a three year plan, not like something. Well, yes. Well, that's. I'm I think a big that's fan of the three year like, plan. Especially yeah. us, us do it. That's now, their problem. People are like. <laughs> Let's see the results now. But, but there's a lot of interest. We're, we're working yeah. towards it and building it, you know, towards it. Then. Or my kid's in ninth grade and only has a couple years, or in tenth grade, and I well, need to I see know. those well, changes. We can't, have, we can't yeah. help some of that. You know? Well, I, yeah. I mean, I sometimes think, too, lifelong, lifelong sports 
And then there's the, I'm a big supporter of swimming, that I think mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a life skill. I used to, to think that, that driving a, a yeah, stick sick. shift, you're going you're gonna to learn to swim and you're going to yeah. drive a stick shift for you, Claire. Um, <laughs> but the other thing is just, you know, outdoor survival. In the winter, we have a lot of a lot of winter sports and, and hunters, and you know this is part of what people do. Mm -hmm. But there's lots of of things to we're doing that this lots winter of things in the middle to be school. learned around those things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Winter well, we'll just throw them all out that's yeah. and yeah. say, <laughs> "Hey, I good taught luck. you. Survivor. Good luck." Yeah. And those of you that make it back, yay! And if not, you get it's been nice to know you. Yeah. you get it. <laughs> <laughs> send the helicopters out. Okay. The drones. Me, 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 me. All right. Oh, All right, we're getting close to the end. Um, but I'd like to keep this conversation, you know, I'd like mm -hmm. to send you back after having a chance to listen to you and you li to listen to each other and do a little um, more looking mm -hmm. with the same kind of thing in mind. Um, if you have the wherewithal to write down where you're, you know, Finding it, it's helpful when we get back here. Uh, Which way the pendulum swung? For yeah, you and I will have parts of this. I will have um, more written, and I will bring that because I'm looking for feedback around that. But I'm also looking to make sure that what I'm saying is is a fair representation. And I want you know, I want people to say, eh, no, is that that I I don't think that's true because blah 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 blah. Um, so. Uh, that's you know very much a part of the process. When you go back to the articles of agreement, is it pretty clear as to how to set up the report? I go back and forth. I think, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm kind of using it that way, almost as a checkbox. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, um, and then I may actually put them together a little bit differently. But I, but I feel like doing it by the articles of agreement makes the person who's reading it, it makes it easier too mm -hmm. to go back and reference and not have to dig. Otherwise, I may have to put in the report, you know, per page 16 or whatever. Do you think we have too many, like, questions that go outside of the original? Mm -hmm. I don't think we do, to tell you the truth. That's helpful. Well, that's what I wonder if, like, grouping them into the camps would be, you know, like, yes, no, I don't know, mm -hmm. or whatever, you know, would, then we're only dealing with three that's sections. Yeah. So then yeah. But then you have different if, schools. If you're dealing by, well, I, that's, that's, yeah, but. I think as long as you're, like, comparing those generalities, you just do a broad sweep, and then unless you yeah. see a great, yeah. egregious shift between yeah. Right. Yeah. programs or campuses or something, and then you know those. As a principal, do you see taking yeah, the data and sharing it with your teachers and staff? I think it's important to be transparent and share that. Mm -hmm. I like looking at things. That yeah, I think that's a really interesting. Just to say, like, this is what we see. What do you think? Yeah. What do you yeah. notice? Because sometimes I think, I mean, I think you're all very good at noticing things too, but it's, it's just always fun for me to do that in a staff meeting. Yeah. So maybe people notice things that I don't always notice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. We get stuck in our echo chambers and that's, yeah. you know. Sure. Yeah. I think that's going to be the most powerful use of the data. Well, and also, it, it, it's, it's too late because we've already we're already done it. But then, if you share it with the ones that didn't fill it out, it's you know, I guess look at it like voting. You know, you still work here, but you know, you you know, it's okay. You can bitch, but you know, you, you didn't fill it out. You know, so it's yeah. all right. Huh. All right, we meet again soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When do we meet next? I don't have my, I got out of the house without my calendar. I think the 3rd of October, Thursday, the 3rd. I don't, that, that's right, I, that, the, that, that, yes. Yeah. 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 But, you know, yeah. I could join. Here. Remotely well, we'll see what, we'll see what we're doing then. Oh, okay, all right, okay. Cool. Um, but yeah, what you were saying, Andrew, I think what I've do, been doing is doing them individually, and then when I read them all together, I think then I can put, you know, do a general mm -hmm. sweep on some. Yeah. But, all right. October 10th, right? Who's, who's going to get us out? Oh. Oh. I have a motion to adjourn the meeting, please. So moved. Is this yours? Is that good? So moved.